Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, Vibin' Up The Dark, underscore with Mo. And if you're new to my channel, how about hit that subscribe button? And if you're a returning subscriber, how about send it to a family or a friend so they can vibe out with us? And please, 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 please make sure you like this video. It helps out a lot, and thanks in advance. Alright you guys, so as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we are going to be talking all things surrounding Carly Red. So Carly Red did an interview, and she talks about... Her new business endeavors, she talk about her current relationship with the girls, Spice, Bambi, Sierra, and Jessica White. She also talks about her newfound love, fiance slash husband, and that part brought on a bunch of mess with his new baby mama. So let's get straight into the video. So like I said, Carly Red did an interview with the Music Exclusives TV, so y'all go follow that page if y'all want to hear like some of the interviews with the celebrities. And... This interview kind of went viral or either it sparked his baby mama to come out and show some receipts on her. But before I get into the mess, let's get into some of the things that Carly Rae has going on because I did not know Carly had all this motion. She got like four restaurants and I didn't know she was in partnership with Neo, but she said that in this interview, which I didn't put that clip in here. But yeah, she got four restaurants. She's opening up one with her fiance and... Let me just play y'all that particular clip. restaurant is close to my heart and because it's just me and my hubby you know me and my man yeah, yeah. so so this particular restaurant is just really really close to my heart so i cannot wait it's, i'm putting my own touches i don't have to answer to nobody i have to yeah. check in with nobody you know i'm putting my own touches on it and it it's gonna it's so fly oh my gosh That's it's so, so fly yeah. i own johnny's chicken and waffles johnny chicken and waffles is in four cities um I so it's in Atlanta, it's in, it's in different cities. I own um and so now I also own Red Room Bistro and I also own Island Escape. Island Escape. So just so you know which restaurants I own. So those are the restaurants that Carly owns. And what other business ventures are you involved in? I don't know if I was hiding up on a rock or anything like that, but did y'all know she had all those restaurants going on? But anyway, here's the part of the interview when she got asked about the girl status right now with spice bambi and jessica white oh we're good we're good um so i've been knowing jessica forever forever like i knew her from way back in la so um you know jessica you know you know how it is friends you have yeah. your up and down and then you you know you go through things and everybody's good we're not like you know we're grown we're not beefing we're not going at each other's throats i love spice still to this day i have i still feel like no matter what that's my sister once i call you my sister be i mean come on now everybody and everybody knows you are and you fight with your sisters but at the end of the day that's your sister so i still call her my sister to this day same thing with bambi same thing with jessica no matter what we go through we may be dysfunctional family sierra <laughs> but, but uh we're still sisters and you and Sierra, you guys are good? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm hmm That's why I said her name, because that's her That's her thing, dysfunctional for your people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that where, you know, um, that's what she normally said. Are you guys as close as before? Like, did you guys talk things over, like, whatever the issues were? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we talk, to, we talk about the issues, and then... We, you know, it's, it just takes time to rebuild that sisterhood that we had. We, you know, we're not as, you know, it's taking time. Me and Sierra's getting closer and closer by the day. Me and Bim, we talking over, you know, our issues and everything. We, we growing. And, and um, me and Spice, I'm, you know, we're, we're trying. We're, yeah, that's a work in progress. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Okay, so that's that on that with the girl's relationship. So now she congratulated her on the proposal and getting engaged. And then she also asked her, because she's been engaged plenty of times. Y'all know Carly Red on every season, seemingly she get proposed to. So the interviewer asked her, what makes this man so different from the rest of her relationships? And here's her response. My husband, my baby, my hubby, my love, he literally, with all my other relationships, it's like, I was the you know, taking care of the man, because that's what I'm used to doing as a Caribbean woman. But this time, literally, my man will wake up in the morning and be like, what can I do for you? What can I need? How, how are we going to get through this day? What, baby, are you, are you okay? Are you okay? Like, he, he gives me, like, when we wake up in the morning, we're just like, it's, he makes sure, he's like, baby, did you say good morning? I'm like, good morning, baby. You know, it's like, he makes sure. Things. Yeah, the little things like all day long, he checks on me. Like, wow. are you okay? Where are you? What are you doing? And I love all day long. Oh, he makes sure I'm good. He makes sure, you know, and then, th you know, like I said, we have other businesses together. He, you know, 
he made sure those businesses are good, not just the restaurant, but just other bit. We have so many businesses now together. How he, how he is as a man, how he is, how he takes care of me. Mm. I love, He's I love really that for concerned you. about me. And I'm like, now I don't feel alone in the world. Now I don't feel like uh -huh. I've been taking care of everybody because that's how it is. Situations that were before me. I can't control what was before me. He had a, a lot of situations before me. He was single. Yeah. <laughs> he was single. Shit. I can't be mad about the man was single. Right. But now what's going on now? What's going on now? Honey? Hello. Hello. Hello again. Show them Hello. Again. <laughs> what's going on now in this, in, in this house that we just bought together. What's going on now? Right. Oh, what's going yeah. on now? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on now? I can't worry about what he did before. I know my man comes home every night. He be in that bed every night. That's what's going on now. Now, he has situations before me. He was single. You supposed to. You know? You were supposed to. You was you were supposed to have situations before me. I don't care if you were single. I don't care if you was in a relationship. I do not care what you had before me. <laughs> I wasn't before me. I I was with somebody else before him, right? If you're exactly. in a relationship okay. now, why would I care about what you had before me? They, they want to know. They're talking in the comments. And I, I don't like what would you address? Is there anything about a newborn? Okay, so Carly Kale speaking on what happened before her because the people was actually in the comments asking her about the newborn baby that her husband or fiance just had. Now, I'm saying husband or because she saying husband already like they probably did went to the courthouse. But we as the public only know that they got engaged. But anyway. So about four days ago, he posted these pictures of this beautiful baby girl on his Instagram page. And he captioned it and he said the biggest blessing this year, Logan B. So the people in the comment section was confused. Somebody said, wait, you had a baby on Carly? How you just had a baby in with Carly? What the F? This T-Wood baby she just had? D, you and Carly had a baby already? So he never responded to any of the people in the comment section, but Carly Red answered it on this interview right here. And she explained her side of the story. Um, yeah. So, okay. So let me just, let me just clarify everything. So basically before he met me on our first date, he told me, he said, babe, I think somebody's pregnant. Uh, you know, it's a girl. He showed me who she was. He was like, she's pregnant, whatever. And I was like, okay. He was like, but I don't know if it's yeah. mine. Cause you can't I tell. Yeah. He's like, I don't know if it's mine because you can, you couldn't get the results right away. And um, he showed me who she was. She knew who I was. She knew very well that we were together. He didn't, he didn't say, oh, I'm going to keep you out. You know what I mean? Whatever. And he's the type of person he's not going to like. Okay, so then finally, recently, he just found out that it was his. Oh, but we stay, got it. stay together through it. She's she's a beautiful, you know, I'm I'm so happy to have her in oh. our lives. You know, um, I, I'm I'm so happy. She's a beautiful little girl. I get along. You know, I'm I don't have any ill will towards the yeah. mother. And so I said Carly told her side of the story because the baby mama came out after this came out and she started exposing some messages and some things that Carly Red been saying about her and about the baby. So she replied to somebody's comment and she said, because an ugly baby from an ugly girl can't keep a man, but I can. Check his body. My name is written on it in the tattoo. Now you should know a baby from an ugly A girl can't keep a man, but I can. Two kids, different baby daddies. My name is written all over him. We got a planned pregnancy over here. And she was talking about this girl because I'm going to actually show y'all that girl. She went live and live bites caught it. But that girl do have three kids and two other baby daddies but this baby mama was not here for none of the things that carly ray had to say in this video um and you know we're gonna be a blended family i mean shoot i mean i'm about to be pregnant so <laughs> so wait mm -hmm. listen you are giving us a lot of tea yes yeah. and i gotta like uh, yeah i'm about to have a boy wait you gotta you gotta explain further yeah, yeah, so I, are you are I you i can't are you pregnant? i can't you're huh? about to have surrogacy I'm i i can't <laughs> Carly? That's all I can say. Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, okay, so you're so let me just repeat that. You're about to be pregnant or you're I about to that, have I, I, I can't say no more. All right. all right. I will okay. Let's move on. Let's move on. Nice. Okay. That yeah. was I gotta so, take that in. Okay. Oh yeah, so she had the baby and I'm so excited. We're both excited about it. There's no, you know, it was before me. Yeah. On our first day he told me about it. So I had the decision to say, do I want to stay in this or do I not? Yeah. And I decided, you know what? He treats me good. He comes home every night. You know, of course, he's going to take care of his child. I even 
do stuff, you know, to help. Okay. I'd be like, here, baby, how can I help? Yeah, that's what I'm supposed to do. I ain't supposed to hate on anybody. On an innocent child. And, like, I got to commend you because that's, like, a different level of maturity. And the fact that he respects you enough yes. to give you that option to say, this is the situation. I love you. But, yep. you know, I got to let you know. He and respects you make that me decision. so much. Yes. And literally, like, it's no, it's, it's no, like, bad blood. It's like, we're grown. Okay, so that was Carly's take on it. And like I say, the baby mama was not here for it. And her name is actually T. Wood on Instagram. And this is what she had to say about everything. And she provided different messages, like I said, that Carly read, been posting, and things like that. Now, I cleared the situation up. I showed y'all screenshots of her. You literally said the complete opposite of what you said in the screenshots. You know what I'm saying? So... It, it may seem like she didn't say, that's why I said blended family is crazy. How do you sit here and talk about me, my three kids, one before she gets here, and then turn around and say, I don't have no ill wills towards her, and then turn around and say, beautiful baby, and then turn around and say, she didn't, he didn't know about the baby. How he didn't know about the baby and he moved me, my two kids, my mom down to Atlanta? How he didn't know about the baby? How he didn't think the baby was his? You think that man would have took care of me, my whole mother, if you didn't think that it was his? Be fucking for real. That's what I'm saying, at your old age, your grown age, you're delusional or mentally stable. Something's wrong with you. And, I, and it's like, we're not, we're never going to be cool. Okay, so this is the part where she showed the messages or whatever, but I am going to take a screenshot and put it over the video because if you like me, I have like eye sensory issues and I guess because she was mad and, you know, furious, people shake. So she was shaking too much and that was even about to make me sick. I don't know what it's called, but it makes me sick when I see like things moving like that. I really get sick. Her and them. So I said, bruh, leave me out of that shit. You inboxing that she probably think is me. I don't care about nothing you or her is talking about. So then she goes in to say, oh, if I was T Hollywood, I would get rid of that baby because she's going to be so mad when our baby's getting all the clout with all the attention that baby's going to get. Who says it at that age? Who says like that? That's so mother weird. Then you go into, um... What'd she say? Because an ugly baby from an ugly girl can't keep a man, but I can. Check his body. My name is Reno, Reno, written out on a tattoo. Now you should know a baby from an ugly ass girl can't keep a man, but I can. Two kids, different baby daddies. My name is written all over him. It's a planned pregnancy over here. So let's just sit back and be like, oh, okay. No, it's not happening. No sister wise on none of that. I been told Tilo that when I saw Carly, I was going to say something to her. I have not ran into but for y'all to keep, I'm not no bitter baby mama. If she want to sit here and have a baby her age, go ahead. If you want to walk down the aisle with 10, 20, 30, go ahead. I have to deal with that man for the rest of my life. A bring don't keep, a baby don't keep, I think he's a nigga to be kept, baby. I don't give a fuck about what y'all got going on. I could care less. I don't care. I'm 25 years old. You think the next motherfucker gonna care? I got three kids. No, you did me a favor. Now you have to worry about that man cheating on you. You put me back in the streets. And some, the reason why I don't care for her and I know that she's lying, our baby was planned. He wanted me to have his baby. I wanted to have his baby. We were in a relationship. Because we're sitting here, y'all keep trying to play with some bitter ass baby mama up, up, over there. And I wouldn't even pull her age card if she didn't act her age. You're childish and immature. And this is why I feel the way that I feel. Okay, so then she went live and she said she got jumped. She posted about it and people were speculating that Carly had got her jump when she was out. But she's not saying that she's saying it was Carly. She don't really feel like it have nothing to do with Carly. Or she says she don't know at all why she got jumped. If it was the people she was hanging with or what. First off, I don't even feel like I have to explain myself. Like, <clears throat> I never once said I felt like anybody was responsible for what took place last night. We're still trying to figure out exactly what even happened. Like, I'm grown. My baby's not two days. She's two months. I can go out. I literally, we're out. Literally playing uno you know having a nice time having a couple drinks i'm walking out the mother club huh? it just took place so fast like you know i never i'm not a clout chaser i'm not an attention seeker i haven't said anything this far oh. it is still some things that needs to be addressed but i'm not an internet type person there are some things that need to be addressed that i'm going to say to her when i see her face to face any everything else don't i don't have nothing to do with at all like you know my lip is a little I got a couple scratches here and there. I don't know if it was for, I don't know if it's because who I was with. So she posted a couple pictures up on her Instagram. And when I check her Instagram, she only got two pictures up. So I don't know if she swept her page clean or what. But people in the comments was like, this is why she mad, boo. Fine stallion. Somebody said, I was waiting on this comment. No, for real. 
She wasn't mad. She was trying to be a good stepmom. Somebody else said, girl, bye. That old washed up bag is big mad corny. Clock it. Exactly. Carly ain't said nothing wrong at all. Her BD running around with the boss. Meanwhile, she getting jumped for trying to be messy. Somebody else said, girl, shut the F up. What she said was a mother effing lie. Mad about what? I don't even like Carly, but she wasn't mad at all. And get the wedgie out, your A. You be the one spreading false information. Their mouth miss ran through. Well, y'all, that's all I have for y'all in this video. How do y'all feel about the mess that they have going on right now? I feel like personally, if Carly Red accepted the fact that he had a baby on the way before, like she said she did, she's fine and she should be fine. But her saying all those things that she said, that the girl had screenshots of, I don't know where that come from. Obviously, she posted on social media trying to feel like she's unbothered, but she really is bothered if she posted that stuff for real. But she did a post and delete. So that's a bit shady, which Carly Red was always shady. But how do y'all feel about the girl, the baby mama actually coming out and saying what she's saying? Let me know how y'all feel about everything I discussed in this video in the comment section below. I do comment back and I catch you guys on the next one. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.